friends welcome to s dot math guru classes so our main discussion is partial differential equation of first order so uh, method of multiply we consider we solve some problems some problems it was given next you consider the remaining problems find the general solution of x into z square minus y square del z del x plus y into x square minus z square del z del y z into y square minus x square this one given now solution the auxiliary equations are the auxiliary equations are dx by x into z square minus y square dy by y into x square minus z square dz by z into y square minus x square we write the auxiliary equation because we know this if we have pp q q equal to r or this is p or we can write p del del z del x q del z del y equal to r then auxiliary equation is dx by p dy by q dz by r these are auxiliary equation so here p means this one whole is p this is del z del x and this one q del z del x this one r so we write dx by this capital p dy by capital q and dz by this r now using multipliers we want to solve this problem now here within the bracket z square minus y square x square minus z square y square minus x square square terms given now if we multiplying by x this one this one by y this one by z then we get x square y square just like this all the terms will be square terms so ultimately they uh, their denominator will be zero now our main aim how to find denominator is zero this is our main target so we write using using x y z using x y z as multipliers multipliers x y z multipliers we get each fraction each fraction equal to so we multiplying this one by x x dx y dy z dz we multiplying this one by x this is y this is z and adding and here also we multiplying x then we get x square z square minus y square here multiplying by y then y y y square x square minus z square multiplying by z z square y square minus x square we get this and this will be x dx y dy z dz and this one x square z square x square y square x square y square y square z square y square z square z square x square if we multiply all of this we get this one but x square z square these two are like terms this is cancel x square y square cancel this one cancel so we get denominator is 0 x dx plus y dy z dz then denominator 0 if denominator 0 then we can write x dx therefore y dy 
जेड टी जेड इक्वल टू जीरो वही गेट डिनोमिनेटर जीरो मींस बाय कंडीशन वही राइट दिस इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इफ वी इंटीग्रेट बोथ साइड एक्स टी एक्स वाई डी वाई इंटीग्रेशन जेड टी जेड इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू वाई स्क्वायर बाय टू जेड स्क्वायर बाय टू C one by two, we get this. And multiplying both sides by two, then x square plus y square plus z square equal to C one. We get this equation. This is the solution of first Hoyni multiplying by x y z. Again, another types is if we we can remove x y z if we divide by one by x, multiplying by one by x, then x is cancel. This is one by y, then y cancel. This cancel. If we adding, then this will be zero. Again, again, again using one by x, one by y, one by z as multipliers. multipliers we get each fraction each fraction equal to 1 by x dx 1 by y dy 1 by z dz this one multiplying by 1 by x this is 1 by y this one by here also you multiplying by 1 by x 1 by x into x z square minus y square 1 by y into y x square minus z square 1 by z into z y square minus x square this one we get. So this x x cancel, y y cancel, z z cancel. We get this equal to we get uh, one by x dx, one by y dy, one by z dz, and this is z square minus y square, x square minus z square y square minus x square then all of this cancel we get 0 and this is dx by x dy by y dz by z therefore denominator 0 therefore we can write dx by x dy by y dz by z equal to 0 we integrate both sides dx by x dy by y dz by z equal to 0 so this is log x plus log y plus log z equal to log c2 we get this so log x plus log y plus log z we can write log xyz equal to log c2 then this implies x y z equal to c2 we get this therefore the required solution required solution is now we know this if u equal to c1 v equal to c2 then solution is f of u comma v equal to 0 or we can write v equal to f of u either this or this now this is u equal to c1 v equal to c2 therefore the required solution is f of 
एक्स स्क्र प्लस वाई स्कुर प्लस जेड स्कुर एक्स वाई जेड दिस इक्ल टू जिरो उ कैन रईट दिस और उ कैन रईट और एक्स वाई जेड इक्ल टू एफ अफ एक्स स्कुर प्लस वाई स्कुर प्लस जेड स्कुर उ कैन रईट एनसार इज आईदार दिस और दिस वन either this or this anyone we can write this or answer there is another simple. problem solve x square minus y square minus z square into p plus 2xy into q equal to 2xz now you want to solve this equation the auxiliary equation auxiliary equations r dx by x square minus y square minus z square dy by 2xy dz by 2xz we consider this is our auxiliary equation now first we consider the second members now dy by 2xy dz by 2xz this this and this we consider here both the fraction 2xy 2xy cancel y by dy by y dz by z we get we integrate this this will be log y this is log z this is log c1 this one log y minus log z log c1 in logarithm in minus given we write division y by z equal to log c1 then y by z equal to c1 we get this first solution so i want to write the solution is here therefore why we uh, what we get y by z equal to c1 we get this one from these two members we get y by z equal to c1 now again using using x y z as multipliers we get we get each fraction dx by x square minus y square minus z square dy by 2xy dz by 2xz this equal to so we multiplying this one by x this is y this is z x dx y dy z dz and denominator x into x square minus y square minus z square this is multiplying by y then y into 2xy and this one multiplying by z z into 2xz we get this so we get this one now uh, we consider this and this pair dz by 2xz this equal to x dx y dy z dz from this 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 taking x common if we taking x common then x square minus y square minus z square x common then 2 y square x common then 2 z square we get this this implies dz by this x x cancel 2z and this one 
x dx, y dy, z dz. This is x square plus y square plus z square. So this is x square, 2 y square minus y square. This is y square, 2 z square minus z square, z square. And this can be written as 2 multiplying this side. 2x dx, 2y dy, 2z dz by. This is x square plus y square plus z square. And this is dz by z. Just multiplying this to this side and we write this directly right side. And integrate this. If we integrate on both sides twice x dx plus twice y dy 2z dz by x square plus y square plus z square dz by z then this if we differentiate x square you get twice x y square then twice y z square is twice z this is standard integral this will be log of x square plus y square plus z square and dz by z means log z and log c2 we get this and this is log x square plus y square plus z square minus log z equal to log c2 and in logarithm if in logarithm, if division given, minus given, we write division x square plus y square plus z square by z equal to log c2. Then ultimately, we get x square plus y square plus z square by z equal to c2. Therefore, the record solution. Ricard solution is f of y by z comma x square plus y square plus z square by z equal to 0 or we can write or we can write x square plus y square plus z square by z equal to f of y by z this implies x square plus y square plus z square equal to z into f of y by z this is our answer or this one answer anyone we can write this either this or this this is the final answer so i hope you are all enjoying with this type of problem these are most important for engineering courses it may be in third semester it may be second semester but these are important and mathematics major also in bhc msc both are we get this type of problem thank you